You know, it's amazing the number of direct emails <laughs> DeMille gets versus the public comments people are actually willing to post in the discussion section. But we do get some interesting observations. So if you haven't seen the heat gun challenge video, check it out. We blasted an egg with a heat gun, but instead of trying to blow it up like a lot of folks on YouTube, the goal was to use the magic of science to keep it from exploding for as long as possible. And of course, DeMille got a ton of emails and suggestions on how to improve the process, plus some interesting posts from our loyal legion of followers like this one from Asher Kolodniak. I hope I pronounced that right, Asher. And Asher basically says here, a hole on the cool side or the back side of the egg. He's talking about opposite the heat gun location. A hole on that cool side should help your cooked egg come out of the holes better. In other words, uh, a more effective pressure release, which is kind of an interesting suggestion. We might be trying that. Reese Flint says that the goopy egg <laughs> reminded him of a three-year-old during cold season, which, which I personally thought was a snotty comment. <laughs> and uh, let's see here, what do we got? Oh, yeah, Eli Robinson says, you were drilling the wrong way in the egg. Impossible. E Eli, that is, a, it's either, it's a, a couple of things. Uh, it's either an optical illusion, or I, quite frankly, I'm convinced you were watching the video um, in a mirror. That's what was going on there. There, there's no uh, no wrong way drilling happens on this channel, buddy. Mm -mm. Laurent two thousand six says, "Is this an egg?" I uh, cannot even begin to. Uh, well, let's just move on. Uh, Oh, yeah. Chris S. Now, Chris S. says five minutes is easily improved upon, even without. I'm not going to read his whole thing. It just gets a little crazy because he just goes into some great scientific detail. But basically says five minutes is easily improved upon, even without the holes. Try putting the egg in a pan of water. This is where it gets nuts. Try putting the egg in a pan of water. Use the heat gun to warm the bottom of the pan. In fact, you could use any heat source on the pan and then use the heat gun to lightly char some bread. In fact, this is where it gets revolutionary. In fact, I have a type of heat gun mod in my kitchen, which is like a heat box that you can put bread in so it holds the bread for you. And it has an auto shutoff function. I don't want to keep going on with this because this is the type of device I don't want to encourage the common man to be utilizing. It, it sounds like some kind of advanced alien technology, quite frankly. I think this is, uh, this is some kind of dreamlike fantasy of his to think that there is a, uh, a box shaped heating device that can help you char bread. Uh, that is impossible. And, of course, I keep saying he, but, you know, Chris is a female name, too. That is our most widely expanding audience segment. So, um, Chris, I don't know. Um, if you did invent some kind of a weird bread heating box, I I'll tell you right now, it that's never going to take off. That's going nowhere. That's the kind of invention that's going nowhere. Tony from Columbus, th this one's an email. Tony from Columbus says, DeMille, play back the video, and you'll notice that the heat gun is causing the egg to explode because the side of the egg nearest to the heat gun is slowly disintegrating. Disintegrating. You can even, what is that word, DeMille? Is that French? Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, Wow. Anyway, you can even see white particles from the egg. So that side of the egg is getting weaker. And when you really look at your slow-mo replay, you can see that's the side where the explosion comes from. You know, Tony, I got to tell you something. You talk a little weird. You talk a little bit like a hipster, but you're winning a t-shirt, buddy. 
we're going to send you a MervServe t-shirt. Because, look, dude, ideas like yours, although worded in a confusing fashion, are few and far between. But just be careful about coming on here flashing around two and three syllable words, Tony. And Chris, you're a little out there with that heat box. And the fact that you're you're keeping a dangerous device like that in your kitchen is a, is quite frankly a little disconcerting. Um, I mean, I mean, if you invent something like that, for for God's sake, keep it in the garage or locked in some sort of a fireproof laboratory. But you know, I mean. They laughed at Henry Ford when he invented the airplane, so post us a video or a sketch or some kind of picture of your invention. You got a lot of people curious here in the studio. And if there's anybody else out there that wants to submit comments, suggestions on how to improve the process, hit us up, post something, post a video in response to whatever we're doing. Have at it. That's what this channel is all about. This is Merv. I'll see you next time. Merv Service Secrets and MervServe.com. Be sure to watch some of our other videos.